Before there were steel giants and suspension marvels, there was wood, a material prone to rot, warp, and fail under pressure. Whoa! Yet, the humble covered bridge defied nature, standing for centuries where others fell. What's the secret behind their design? Let's uncover the story of these forgotten masterpieces Before we dive in, please quickly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support makes a difference, allowing us to keep bringing you fresh, exciting content. Plus, it helps our community grow. Thanks for being part of it. Covered bridges weren't just charming, they were practical. In the 18th and 19th centuries, wood was the most abundant and affordable material for construction. But it had one fatal flaw. It didn't fare well against the elements. Rain caused it to rot, snow warped it, and sunlight weakened it. A wooden bridge left exposed might only last a decade or two. The solution? Add a roof and walls to protect the wood from moisture and UV rays. With this simple innovation, builders extended the lifespan of these bridges from a few years to over a century. Some covered bridges, like the Hyde Hall Bridge in New York, still stand nearly 200 years later. Not bad for a structure made entirely of timber. But the roof wasn't the only piece of engineering genius. Under every covered bridge lies its true strength, the truss system. Trusses are intricate networks of wooden beams, often arranged in triangular patterns, that evenly distribute the weight of the bridge and its load. It's why these wooden structures could carry heavy wagons and livestock despite their material limitations. Building a truss required incredible precision and teamwork. Communities would come together, sawyers to cut the timber, stonemasons to build the abutments, and carpenters to assemble the structure. These bridges were more than functional. They were symbols of human ingenuity and collaboration. Imagine a bride and groom pausing for a kiss beneath the roof, a farmer shielding his cart from a sudden storm, or children daring each other to race across the darkened planks. These bridges weren't just functional, they were alive with memories. They echoed with laughter, whispered with secrets, and stood as silent witnesses to the lives of the people they connected. They became woven into the fabric of local life. Travelers found shelter from storms, and communities gathered for festivals and celebrations. These bridges weren't just about getting to the other side, they were spaces where stories were created. While they've become icons of rural America, covered bridges weren't unique to the US. In Switzerland, the Kapellbrücke in Lucerne stands as both a bridge and an artistic masterpiece. In ancient China, corridor bridges served multifunctional purposes, housing shops and community events or providing rest stops for travelers. These designs served the same purpose, protecting the structure while creating a space that brought people together. By the late 19th century, covered bridges began to fade from the landscape. Steel and concrete took over as the materials of choice, and floods, fires, and neglect claimed many of these wooden marvels. Today, fewer than 1,000 covered bridges remain in the U.S., preserved as historical landmarks in states like Pennsylvania, Vermont, and Indiana. Each remaining covered bridge is a portal to the past, a reminder of the craftsmanship and community spirit that defined an era. Covered bridges teach us a lesson we often forget. Good design doesn't just solve a problem, it lasts. Today, designers face the same challenge. How to create something beautiful, functional, and timeless. From green buildings to modular furniture, 
The principles of durability and resourcefulness are as relevant now as they were 200 years ago. Covered bridges aren't just relics of history, they're masterpieces of design. They represent the perfect marriage of form and function, built to endure time and weather but also to bring people together. In an age of sleek, modern materials, these wooden wonders remind us of the beauty of thoughtful, practical design. Do you have a favorite covered bridge? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey into design history, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories from the world of design. Thanks for watching.